Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another interesting topic which we are going to discuss today. And it is all about how we can publish a private package to your GitHub NPM repository or GitLab uh, package repository or NPM private repository. So what happens is like, let's say we are building any microservice app or we are building a full stack, uh, full stack clone app or something. We always find some packages, some libraries which, which are reusable, which we can publish somewhere. Like if you are using GitLab, you can push that as a GitLab uh, package so that that package can be used across all your other projects in the organization. Or you can push that as an NPM private repository. Or if you are using GitHub, then you can use GitHub packages. So this is how the reusability comes into picture. And in JavaScript ecosystem, we can create these packages. You publish the packages, uh, always the new versions, and then you can, you can use the specific version in any other project or in your organization. So how that actually works. These packages can be a Node.js package, JavaScript, vanilla package, or any React library package, uh, React storybook packages, where you publish the components, the whole UI storybook, and then you can individually get the accordions, uh, scroll bar, or all these UI packages. Or we can also publish an independent Nest.js package. Let's say you are writing a microservice and you uh, are dealing with DynamoDB, S3 or something. So you can create a reusable package, how to interact with S3, SNS, SQS, Event Bridge, or how to access the DynamoDB. These can be a uh, reusable package. I recently built a package for SendGrid, like uh, to interact with SendGrid, you can just, uh, you don't need to understand the internals of SendGrid. You can just use a SendGrid uh, API package dot publish and just pass the parameters. So that is the, that this is how we create a packages and how we can do it. You just need to create a empty repository. I'm going to demo you like how you can do that. We just do NPM in it, create all the, create the package JSON, create a source folder. And inside that in the source, you are going to create your library. It library can be Nest.js or React UI package or any simple vanilla JavaScript utility package. And then once that is there, we will just need to publish the package. But before publishing, you need to have access to that repository system, either GitHub, GitLab, or NPM private repo. So what we need to do is we need to have uh, access token. And then once we configure access token and we do NPM login, we should be able to do NPM publish to the targeted system. So it's like a very simple uh, process how we do it. And it's not that complex. It, you just need to understand it once. After that, you can publish a package to either uh, NPM private repo, GitHub private repo, or the GitLab uh, packages. So what you do is here is you need to first do NPM login and how NPM login works is uh, it asks you the username, right? And a password you need to pass as access token. So you can get access token from GitHub, GitLab, or NPM. Then build your library, write your code, build the TypeScript code into vanilla JavaScript, define your uh, type definitions. So when you do the build, there is always .d.ts file gets created because whoever is using this package, he also needs to get the typing files. Then we do npm publish. npm publish, you have packages published. Now it's time to use that package in your another uh, project. So that we will do is using npm install minus minus save, the namespace organization and the package name. So this is how this whole process is going to work on. So what we will do is we'll try to create a simple a demo around it where we have a simple project. This is a simple project with a package JSON. Test private is my. So here we can get started with the basic project you npm in it. And this is your uh, workspace name. This is important what you are specifying like TK Sharma and package name because with the same, uh, this is the name of the package that will get published. And we have tsconfig. This is our basic uh, index.ts file. And here, because we are able to run npm publish, because we will be able to publish run publish the package only after we do the npm login. So this is the important prerequisite step. First, you need to do npm init create package JSON and everything. Then you need to do npm login. So for that, you need already have a access token as a password. So npm login uh, or scope is my username. And you need to pass your username TK Sharma. And then you can actually copy your access token from there. So here you can create a uh, new access tokens. So 
define the read write and create your access token so once the access token is created you copy that access token and you pass the access token here this is the username this is the password you will enter and you will be able to do the login so this is pretty much like uh, this is how you should do the login first and now after this i should be able to do npm publish so that will publish your uh, this typescript tiny package to the github because we are specifying github as a npm private repository we already logged into that so i can do the npm publish all those things you can also do on the ci because uh, you should be able to do the frequently code change in ci should be able to publish that so you need to just provide the npm rc and you need to populate this uh, github uh, github token or npm token in the ci pipeline package name and here i'm just using i created a, I, I got the skeleton for the nest.js package but it can be as simple as typescript index.ts file in the source folder which is just uh, you are building that and just showing some basic function right so i will try to write it it can be a simple function or it can be a simple function uh, which is just returning hello world right so we also need to export it so someone can use this particular function so we can just uh, convert into export const uh, say hello and then arrow function so this say hello is exportable we have exported it so when somebody installed this package they should be able to use this say hello function and now we can just do npm run build build is doing nothing but uh, simply creating the build.t.ts file and index.js file so this is what we are publishing so that somebody can use this say hello function and what we can do is for that npm run sorry it should be npm publish so th uh, this is ts config when you do the build it creates the build folder and this build folder artifact is something which we need to package and publish in our package folder and here inside the package json inside the package json you can see what we are putting inside package json here main build.index.ts so this is the main file and what are the typings typings are created inside a build folder index.d.ts these are important line number four line number five and the version version because based on the version your pushed package will get the incremental versions npm it should be npm run uh, release we can try i think for release i need to get the standard version script which can automate the script versions we can just simply do npm publish npm publish will publish the package you can see uh, update the existing version so we just need to update the existing version to 1.0.4 publish and my package is published so this is what i wanted to demo uh, this is how you can publish a package now the next important thing is you can just go to your github and can see this package is published and next thing you can do is using this package in any of your other project but for that what do you need to do can i just directly use the package no i need to define npm rc file in npm rc file you will explicitly give permission to read that particular package because that package is a private let's say if i want to do install react npm install minus minus save react it's a public library you can install it without having npm rc but here you publish this package in your private repository so you need to get it first so i, I will create npm rc file and define the namespace okay and uh, here you can just define your npm rc file that will contains just a two lines okay okay this is my repository and this is the token i'm specifying to access the repository i mean these are just like okay uh tk sharma is my namespace i mean this is my account and this is npm token so npm token you can uh, export using export npm token this is how you can set the environment variable on the mac a npm token is the same access token which you have already downloaded copied from github okay and once you have npm token you can just do npm install that particular package name and it should be able to download it so that's it so this is how you should be able to use the package and i can see that package in my package json also it, it has been added as a dev dependent sorry as a dependency and then you can start using the utilities the library the code the package you have created the actual exportable things you are exporting say hello function so you just import say hello from tk sharma test private so 
that we will see while creating a reusable nest.js package and we will use that nest.js package in any external project okay so we followed very basic steps to use it we opened another project and we created npm rc file and we did npm install uh, namespace and the package name so it should be able to download your package which you have published and this is npm rc file contains 